There's certain families that most organizations aren't built to serve. When a caregiver's struggles, or demons as I like to say, are getting in their way of having them show up, most support services give up on them. And uh, we reach out to those families and then throw ourselves around them uh, for 12 and a half years no matter what and just have relentless engagement to continue working with them. She's very open now, she speaks her man, she's not shy no more, like she's very communicative. It, it, it changed the whole game plan, like she's like this big, big girl now, so I love it. I just lost my children's father, so it's us five and just me. So I honestly, I feel like this is a family that I never had. She was delayed all this time since she's been in the program. She's getting better. Well, our friends are compassionate, our friends care, our friends show up and they believe in their children, but they also are trained. They have the knowledge and the skills and the education to actually apply what they've learned and the skills that we've poured into them to then be able to translate that to the child or be able to build up that child so that they can reach their fullest potential. One of my um, kids, um, he's in foster care lost his dad when he was five. I had to use the training that we received to kind of build that connection with him. We know that this model works. And we know that there are many other children and families in need of our level of support. And that's why we're proud to be growing and need to continue to expand to grow, to serve more kids and bring them into our communities so that we can support them and celebrate them and help them overcome struggles for the next 12 and a half years. Thank you.